Well, I'd like to give you a little bit of an insight as to how I kind of envision a painting as I progress it. Um, I begin with the concept of the image, but the image isn't where it just stays. The image is maybe something that resonates, something that means something to me. But beyond that, I try and get the painting working where um, energy meets control. So there can be a lot of energy in the painting, yet at the same time, there's enough control that it conveys the image that I'm after to the viewer. I like an individual to view one of my paintings and see it from a distance and let it hit them like, wow. I kind of refer to that as impact. Um, after the impact hits them and they approach the painting, my feeling is I want the individual to realize that what they're looking at is paint and the movement of paint, the way I personally tried to kind of orchestrate my brushwork, my value control, my color manipulation, my design and composition in such a way that it, it means something to you, the viewer. Um, if you think about it, it deals with, there's a tactile quality and a beauty, a richness to paint. It's one of the wonderful things about, I personally, that I believe about art in general is that you can enjoy it forever because you rediscover what the artist was trying to do and you rediscover a new mark that you never saw. And you, went, you think to yourself, oh, look at this. There's, it, there's just this incredible uh, richness of, of technical finesse that the artist has. When I first began, I really wanted to be very realistic. Then I slowly, got more influenced by Impressionism. And from that, I moved into what I refer to as a form of painterly realism. Um, and that's pretty much how I describe my art today. So I hope that helps you. I'm Craig Nelson, and uh, I hope this uh, gives you some information a little bit about the way I view paintings.